welcome to another edition of Crazy Confessions of an Uber Lyft Driver, number five, I believe, Ron. Yeah, that's one full hand. So this one, um, if you still have small children that are, you know, still in the sheltering phase, you may want to cover their ears or just watch this some other time because there's going to be some explicit language in this one. Okay, so moving right along. So a young guy gets in my car, I'm going to guess early 20s, and... <laughs> First thing he says is, oh man, I'm so sorry. From your picture on your Uber profile, I thought you were a girl. I thought you were a MILF, a mom I'd like to fuck. I was like, oh damn, I guess I'm not getting pussy today. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I just start laughing. I'm like, well, sorry to get your hopes up there, young fella. <laughs> and he's like, oh, don't worry about it. There's gonna be plenty of chances to get some pussy tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, okay, good. That's the spirit. <laughs> and I said it just like that. That's the spirit. So that was a little bizarre, and uh, it's not like we know each other where he can just, you know, joke around, like with, when you're with your buddies or whatever, um, you can joke around, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was just bizarre, very random, doesn't know me, and uh, yeah, there you have it. I guess I don't know what else to say. But the rest of the ride was fine. You know, the dude was fine. I think he's, you know, pretty benign. Uh, other than that, he was actually really polite, and uh, seem like, you know, seem like a cool person aside from that MILF comment. <laughs> and after that, he was a little bit worried about offending me. I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm totally not offended. I just think it's funny whenever somebody thinks I'm a girl and then realizes I'm not. So that yeah, was a good laugh. So there you have it. That's episode number five. Let's see what else happens. And by the way, my website, topstardriver.com and tombirkenmeyer.com just like it's spelled here in social media tombirkenmeyer.com every penny that I make from this ride sharing Uber Lyft business is going towards my affordable housing project and I donate a little bit to Gerson they heal people from cancers using nature not medicine and other diseases and also the King's Ransom Foundation they rescue kids from human trafficking from sex slave rings they take care of the elderly whose kids have abandoned them and forsaken them and they feed the starving throughout the world they do a lot of really great work gerson and the king's ransom foundation they're two of the only charities that i actually donate to but the bulk majority of the money that i make from this goes towards my affordable housing project and i don't need to take any money from this for myself and that's a huge part of my story i've got other means of income that takes care of me, passive and residual income from a business at home that I started, online for that matter, uh, over a decade ago. So for those of you that are interested in that, to free up your time to do whatever you want with your time without having to worry about how your bills are gonna be paid and food and all that stuff, feel free to private message me. I'll show you what I've got going on. You can see if it would be a good fit for you too. And if it is, we'll lock arms and I'll show you how I did it so that you can do it too. The only prerequisite is you love learning. So if you love learning, then psh, we got this. So take care, everybody, and feel free to share this because it's a funny story. And, well, till the next time, bye for now. Mwah.